Don't tell your father that I took you flying again. I wasn't planning to tell him, Uncle. Going to land before your father comes back. Seems good. And we're going straight down. Oh, damn. Let me handle this, Jeb. Are you kidding me, Brian? I told you explicitly to not bring him flying with you. Oh, come on, Joseph. You know he's safe with me. You. I forbid you to get back on a plane. I lost your mother in a plane crash. I don't want to lose my son as well. Keep locking me in my room and you'll lose your son anyway. Jeb. Jeb, come back here. Joseph, you should give him more freedom. He's not a kid anymore. But he's only 13. We don't put a plane in the hands of a 13-year-old boy. But flying is everything for him. You know exactly why I don't want to see him in a plane. And I think that you blame yourself for what happened to your wife. Imagine what it feels like. I crashed with her on board. I caused her death. It wasn't your fault. Jeb knows this. This kid is full of surprises. He's... What's that? Jeb. Jeb, get out of that plane right now. I'll be a great pilot one day. I'll fly higher and faster than anyone ever has. Jeb. Jeb, stop that blade. This kid is born to fly. You can't stop him. So it would seem. We're falling vertically! Ok, 
Get it under control! You'll never be able to! I will! Straighten up! No! 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 It's because it's not real. I can't feel the air on the plane. It would have been different if I could feel it. Well, you definitely would have felt the impact if that was real, mate. Oh, yes. I'm finally in a real cockpit. I'm tired of all those simulations. I can't wait to fly this big bird. Hey, calm down, kid. You're only a co-pilot here, so sit back and let me fly the plane, okay? Well, I hope for a better pilot for my first flight. Hey, listen. I don't give a damn that you graduated a third or the fourth second pilot ever. I've been flying through before you could walk. Laps, check. Left from the new line control tower, this is the flight J2RX. We'll quite to take off. J2RX, you are authorized to take off. Over. Maybe we should delay the flight. Looks like there's some storm on our flight plan. Oh, great. Now you're taking us off for a meteorologist. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your pilot. We are about to take off. You can remain seated and enjoy your flight. I don't like that light. Are you scared of thunder, young man? When it's right on our flight path, yes. Stop being such a drama queen, okay? I think you your full thrust. Hold on to your butt, kid. Commander, are you awake? What the? Oh no. Flaps. I can't. The flaps are barely effective. The engine won't start. I have to convert vertical speed to horizontal progressively, so we don't break apart. We can't make it! We are too wide! We will. How did you do that? It's not finished yet. Air brakes are stuck. A reverse thrust seems out. Oh, well, that's irrelevant. There are no airport nearby we can reach. I'm not looking for an airport, but a flat enough land. My angel of knowledge was unbelievable. But diving in plane with no brakes, that's impossible. I'm going to use the engines. I'll force reignition. They will work one last time. That's all I need. You said it yourself. Reverse thrust is dead. 
not going to use reverse thrust. Dear passengers, this is your 20 year old co-pilot that is talking to you. I will attempt a reverse landing, but we're probably going to die. So if you want to pray to someone or something, right now is the time. What are you doing? Landing gear deployed. Engines pre-ignited. Come on, engines. It's now or never. Engines started. We're slowing down. Hope the landing gear won't break. Oh. Hello. You're Jebediah, aren't you? I am. And you are... That's not important right now. You've made yourself quite a reputation as a pilot. Would you be interested in speeding that up? What do you mean by that? Follow me. And you'll see. Give me the address. I can go on my own. It's pretty far from here. Well, I have a car, you know. You'll need a helicopter. And I have one waiting for us. Hey, wait! Nice car. The helicopter is just out of town. I'll drive you to it. What is this place? Tower, this is KKFC 89 approaching landing zone 7. KKFC 89 leaving zone 7, over. So, where are we? I can't tell you yet. It depends on whether you'll be joining us or not. Just know that this is the most advanced center on Kerbin with technology that won't be available to civilians for at least 20 years. Is this a military complex? Not exactly, even though the government would like it to be. Ah, this is our best pilot. 
I'm sure you didn't put that plane at more than 80% power. She did way more. So, Jebediah, I present you Valentina, maybe the only pilot that you can't beat. Valentina, this is Jebediah. I don't need to tell you what he's known for. Nice to meet you, Jebediah. Hmm, that's way too long. I'm going to call you Jeb. That's what everyone does. Hmm, Valentina, that's way too long. I think I'm going to call you Val. <laughs> hmm. You look like a funny one. You won't have this problem with us. I'm Bill. And I'm Bob. Let me guess. You are maybe the only pilots that I can't beat to? Oh, no. We let you control the stick. I'm an engineer. And I'm a scientist. Why in the world would we need a scientist in a jet? Well, you will know when you're officially hired. Speaking about that, when do I get to fly? Well, first, you'll have to make your mark. Give me that plane, and I'll show you my mark. I won't just give you a $20 million plane. First, you have to complete a test on the simulator. Only 7 out of 25 pilots passed it, and they needed 2 months of training. Val did it in 26 days. I wonder how long you'll need. How could he have passed that quick? Okay, Jebediah, we'll follow your flight from the control tower. Jebediah, you don't have to show off. This is only a test flight. You mean something like this? Yeah. Hey Val, check this out. What is he doing? I don't know. Jeb, you do understand that you're falling, right? We fall from the moment that we hit the ground. I won't hit it. Have you ever seen anyone do that? I didn't even take into consideration that it would be technically possible. That's interesting. He wouldn't dare. I think he will. Do you believe that he will land normally? That would be asking too much from him. So, am I hired? Of course you are. So now, will you tell me more about this place? Follow me. You are here at the Kerbal Space Center. Pilots, engineers, scientists, all work together to achieve our goal to reach space, orbit, the moon, and hopefully, Beyond. No plane can fly that high and that far. 
We're not planning to use a plane. What is that? We call it a rocket. It's in development for now, but we're getting closer every day. You'll soon be on top of it. Wait, you're expecting me to pilot this? It doesn't even have wings. You won't need wings in space. So, did I choose the right Kerbal? You're asking me if I accept to pilot a tank vertically pushed by an engine that is bigger than my car. Hell yeah! Your training will be difficult. No Kerbal has ever done what you will do. I'm ready. Start the centrifuge. Training is not only physical, this is the pod simulator. You'll have to know those commands better than the back of your hand. Parachute test ready. Whoa! Okay, Jebediah, the helicopter is on its way. Hey Jeb, thank you for coming. Welcome to my lab. Come, please, I would like to show you something. I call it the mystery goo. I'd like you to use it when you go up to space. Oops, my bad. I'll try again. Jeb, I'd like to show you something. This is the engine that will take you to space. We'll test fire it tonight. How powerful is that? It's making the ground shake from over there. It's something other than a jet engine, right? Power procedure test. Alert. Alert. Evacuate the tower. Alert. Alert. Elevator unavailable. Alert. Alert. <sighs> You'll pay for that, David. Ready. We're all ready. Take me up. Transferring the 55 tons of fuel. Looking at rocket loaded at 65 percent. Retracting crew gantry. Looking at rockets, all things full. Go for main engine starts. Bill. It's go for me. Jeb, main engine it. performance is nominal. You are go. A 
Ascent forming right on point. Starting pitch program. Approaching booster separation. Separated. Ignition. I'm about to eject the launch escape system. LES detached. All clear, Jim. Space is yours. I confirm second engine cutoff. Jeb, are you receiving us? He's not receiving us? I don't understand. The radio is connected. This is even more beautiful than what you can imagine, guys. only just begun. Parachute open. Jeb, the helicopter is closing on your location. Take your time. Our exploration of space has begun. <laughs> 